What do you mean this is the wrong backpack? I do notes is back. We talk a little bit about IBM Connect 2016 and things you need to know this early. Welcome everybody. Been gone for a while. It's I do notes episode 144. It is time for IBM Connect 2016. Not connected 2015. Not Lotusphere is what we knew before. Not connect, but now connect again, but not connected. Whatever the case may be, it's not going to look like that. We're going to somewhere totally new. So. I have some notes for this one to keep track of everything, and handy iPad here, plus some notes on the device. Here's what we need to talk about. Things are different this year. We're not gonna be sitting here at the lovely Dolphin and Swan. We're not gonna be doing the wonderful things we did before. Why? We're going somewhere new. It's now the Hilton Orlando. So we'll be standing in a new convention area, new convention center doing new things, we hope. Tons of sessions, those are already up. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's talk about what's around where we're gonna be. You're no longer on Disney property. You're no longer kind of what you're used to, we're going to be out there a little bit. Uh, if I'm looking at the maps that <laughs> Google has, we'll look up here, scroll around a little bit, you're basically going to be close enough that you can run across the street from the actual Orlando Hilton. There's a McDonald's, there's a Red Lobster, Walgreens, a couple other hotels to choose from. There is a Days Inn, there's a couple Double Trees, a Clarion, things like that. If you want to jump on the trolley, you can go to Starbucks, which is a few minute ride up the road. So that is one of the cool things is there is actually an iTrolley. Uh, link will be up on the blog post with this that'll let you ride for numerous days for a flat rate, unlimited ride. So I think it's nine bucks for five days or seven bucks for three days or something like that. All's there, it'll be in the blog post for the links themselves. Hilton Orlando otherwise, great convention space, tons of space for everybody. I think their biggest rooms can hold as one giant space up to like 5,000, but I think the other ones are holding, you know, some of that 1,500 range. And of course the rooms themselves will be smaller set up probably in the theater style. It's all a guess. Don't know, but I've looked at their entire layout on their website, just trying to figure out what we're going to be doing. What else do we have that's different this year? One of the things they have is the session tool is up. In the session tool, you can currently search by your favorite speaker. You can search by topic. They're starting to build that up. There's still a few more bugs to work out and a few more things coming. Hopefully by the time you see this, that's already been done. But you should be able to now get ready to get in there, start seeing the sessions available. Why is that important? So you can register. If you haven't registered already, the site's been up. Early birds are expiring unless you're an alumni. If you're an alumni and it doesn't say of just last year, it just says alumni, then you should be able to register and get another $100 off. Otherwise, the early bird's gonna expire and you're kind of stuck paying whatever rate it is currently going up to the date of the conference itself. What else do you need to know about it? Uh, I have a couple sessions that are up there. I know my session IDs. We'll put those up on the board. One of them is a co-present. One's by myself. I hope to see you guys at those. What else is different? Uh, they don't have any mention this year of speed geeking. What they do have is what they call lightning talks. Now these are similar to something they did before down the convention center uh, on the floor with the sponsors, I should say. These are gonna be uh, talks that are focused 20 minutes. They're gonna be in the Solutions Expo. They're like TED style talks. They can be a formal presentation with one or two speakers or less formal and interactive between the host and the audience. So you're gonna have to check the schedule for these because they're actually gonna be down on the solution showcase area instead of up in a normal breakout session room. Also new this year that they have listed is design thinking sessions. Design thinking sessions are supposed to be ones that are led by IBM designers and interactive to get prioritizations and pain points and things you want to know about the product as well as give them feedback about what they can do to enhance the product for you. Those are kind of important to me if you think about it. One last piece that we want to talk about is IBM Go. So IBM Go is up. It is, as you can say, hosts all the global conferences, but wait. Apparently not connect. So we have, what do we have up there already? I think we have two or three that are already up there. We have vision, sure. Interconnect, sure. Insight, sure. Connect, no. Now, will that possibly change? Sure it could change. Do I think it will? No. And you'll say to yourself, well, is it a global event? Well, if I look under upcoming worldwide events on a different page inside of IBM, I find IBM Connect. So in one place they say it's a global worldwide event or unless worldwide is different than global and then we have IBM Go which is supposed to be their global infrastructure piece for where you go to get all your conference information. I'm hoping and pleading to those at IBM that you would include Connect because it is about your ICS portfolio and stack and analytics and Watson and everything else you can imagine. Now one other thing you should note is that all conference attendees will receive access to the Conference Connect attendee portal where you can actually download your PDFs. Now the portal isn't live yet, it isn't up there. Uh, normally it has appeared for a while and then goes away a few weeks afterwards and then they move presentations off to social bizug. So keep that in mind if you go in and spend a lot of time building it up. I imagine the portal won't be there later. 
So what do we have to look forward to otherwise this year? Yeah, that's right. They've been promoting the heck out of it. It's the cookie. Apparently the cookie is back. Of all things you could possibly want, it's definitely the darn cookie because it didn't show up last year for whatever reason. We talked about it in a previous episode. You can see the link in the comments below. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Nothing else except I hope to see you there. I do know this podcast will probably be back. We'll probably do a bunch of other things. We've been quiet over the summer due to numerous reasons. Technology, personal, vacations, time off, and took a nice little break. But otherwise, thanks for watching. I will see you all in a few weeks. And if you need anything, please send me an email. And, oh, don't forget, subscribe below. It's the only way to keep up.